Shabbat Shalom. It does amaze me week after week when I return to the Torah that I find in each of the readings something I had never seen before. It amazes me because I've been at this for uh, more than uh, 40, 45 years. And I continue to uncover new meanings. I continue to uncover different ways of looking at the text. And perhaps more importantly, I continue to see connections between the text and what happens in our world or even what happens in my world. This week is no exception. This week we're reading Parshat Balak, which is a very strange reading. It's kind of like an ancient myth. There's a talking donkey in it. There's a soothsayer who's supposed to curse the people of Israel and ends up blessing the people of Israel. The rabbis actually thought this particular reading was a separate Torah in, in, in and of itself, but it's not, it's part of our Torah. At the end of the reading, there's a very, very disturbing situation that takes place. It seems that as the people are reaching the end of their days wandering in the wilderness, they're also feeling a certain level of confidence. They've had some military victories under their belt. And they come across the people of Moab. And the Hebrew men, the B'nai Yisrael, they start playing with the Moabite women. And playing, I mean that in a more serious way. And their relationships that are developing. Those relationships are always considered to be a threat to the people of Israel because those relationships might bring our people, might bring our sons and families, in this case, to uh, pagan worship. And part of the focus of the entire Torah is about the creation of a, a monotheistic uh, people, monotheistic tradition. Well, there's one guy who is actually um, making love with a Moabite woman, and he's seen by Pinchas, who's from the priestly family. Pinchas takes a spear and he runs it through them and kills them both. It was, it's a horrible scene. It's a scene of fanaticism at its worst. There are many ways to respond to wrongdoing, but that certainly is not the way we respond to what's considered to be wrong or considered to be a crime or even inappropriate. What I saw this time was that um, we are confronted with a world of fanatics nationalist fanatics and religious fanatics, people who have a sense of their own ideologies as being absolute and don't give voice or don't give ear to others. And how detrimental that is to a smooth functioning society, to culture, to national and international relations. Later on in the text, we're gonna read the word tzedek, tzedek terdof. It means justice, justice, you shall pursue. Usually when a word is repeated in the Torah, it means that it should be emphasized. Justice, justice, you shall pursue. But in this case, the rabbis taught us that you pursue justice, but you have to do it in a just way. You can't skip steps. You've got to follow, you've got to follow the law. There's a legal order to what you do in order to find, ultimately find justice. We're seeing that in our country now. And hopefully it won't give way to fanaticism or extremism, but rather will allow the system, which is rooted in a constitutional uh, democracy, to, uh, to, to persevere and to pervade. I wish you all Shabbat Shalom. I look forward to seeing you in synagogue tonight and tomorrow morning. God bless you all.